So the first thing we're going to do is load in our DJ mix. And uh, now we are in new wave editor 4. And I say edit, insert file. And I choose a DJ mix, open. And it's loading in the, the whole big record. And you can just hit the space bar anywhere to listen to your mix. The first thing you're going to do is click on the gray area to get the timeline to the start. Click edit, insert track split. It's making a red triangle that's pointing in the direction where your track 1 is. And you can just listen to it. And to see where the timeline is, you just to see where the timeline is, you just zoom in with the scroll on your mouse. Just zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and just hit the play again. And every time you're zooming in and out, you can see you can get a more accurate weave on your uh, on your wave file. And uh, now we're going to search for the for the first mix where it's mixing from track one to track two. And you can just click anywhere and you just listen. Now we got it. This is track 2 I'm listening to and this is track 1. So in between here there is a mix where it's mixing from track 1 to track 2. And now we're just zooming in, zooming in. Oh there's something here. Yeah, this is track 2 and it's mixing about here. And I'm just zooming in to get a more accurate split track. And I'm just zooming in, zooming in, and here where the beat is starting. Yeah. And you just click edit, insert track split, and now you got your track split track 2 at the red triangle pointing at track 2. And uh, so here we got track 1 and this is track 2. And uh, this thing you just have to repeat it all and you just have to find track 3 and track 4 and so on and so on. And you're just zooming in and out everywhere it's mixing together to get a more accurate uh, split track. And when you finish uh, you just go up and say edit and you say save track as files. And uh, now I have one here, I already uh, split up. Here I have 10 tracks, I already split up and I can just take one of them and just zoom in here and you can see it's mixing. This is uh, track number 7. Yeah, and it's mixing to track 8. This is a. You can choose wherever you want to have your uh, your track split, but um, it's it's up to you. And uh, if if you're not sure where your track split is gonna be and you just want to move it, you just take the mouse and hold it in and you just drag it on the screen. And when you got it right, you just uh, and when you're finished with all your track split, you just. Uh, Go up here, edit and save track as files and choose your folder. Track and um, in here you can choose uh, what kind of uh, format you want uh, your tracks to be saved in. And uh, I choose AI FA files and in options you can choose uh, the frequency, how high a frequency is going to be. And the, uh, in bits you choose how uh, many bits the music is going to be. And channels you choose mono or stereo. And I choose this way.
in here you just hit the OK button and uh, I already have some existing files on it. I just say yes. Now it's saving all the tracks one by one. So now it's saving track one and now it's saving track two. But we're not gonna wait for that so so now we're gonna to load now we're going to load all our tracks into new burning rum. So I'm starting new burning rum up using English. So now we got new burning rum starting up like this. And up here you can choose DVD or CD. And uh, one thing we, we the one we're gonna burn is an audio CD and we're going to burn all our mix tracks with no pause between the tracks. It doesn't it doesn't sound cool when you have a mix and then there's coming a little jump between the tracks. That's that's not cool. CDO options and down here you have to mark this one remove silence at the end of audio tracks if this one is not on you are not gonna get a flow between the tracks there's still gonna be a little gap between the tracks so uh, this one has to be on and next burn it has to be disk at once and you just click new And then you just find your folder where your music is, and, uh, and you just mark them all and drag them into new burning room. And uh, now I got all the tracks, track 1, and then track 10 is coming, track 2, track 3, track 4, and it's not in, in the right line, so I just take track 10 and drag it down here, so now we got all the tracks in the right direction track 1, track 2 and you can also see here track 1 and up to track 10 and you see here in pause the between the tracks is 0 all the time and you just go up here and say burn and you just click burn and it will burn the CD for you